I'm a thug all day, every day. Uh huh, cause I'm a thug. That's right, you. Uh uh, cause I'm a thug. And he says it, Trick Love the Kid, something like that. You don't know, Nan? Huh? Huh? You don't know that song? <laughs> no, I don't know that song. You gotta look it up, man. I got my Spotify. Well, I'll look it up. We're Spotify. live, by the way. We're live. That's cool. You got you like you like when you come on and I just start singing. I don't know what this world's gonna do or bring or something, but I know. And by the way, when we sang the last song, five hundred miles, and it's funny because you can hear you, like I'm going. You better not play this. You better edit it, <laughs> and you laugh extra hard. So you knew the moment I say you better edit that. No, I'm not going to. I'm going to leave it just like that, James. So you guys sound like a moron. <laughs> Sounds good as is. <laughs> yeah, right. For you, maybe. No, that's cool. That's cool. Because unless you see the words on a TV screen, it's tough, man. And then those words change color. Then I know I need to sing that part. I don't know. It. I just listened to it. I was like, oh, my goodness. I sound like a jackass. <laughs> and I used to be a DJ. I should know music. I should know when the cues come in. and I should tap my feet to the beat. Then know the, thyself. Yes. Know thyself. Uh, I should have. But whatever. You, you know what kind of frustrates me? Uh, this happened the other day. What, James? I seen this. What frustrates you? These Tourists, not not just tourists. No, tourists themselves don't frustrate me. Specific type. We, okay, we live in Hawaii, right? Of course. Everybody knows we're we're the comedy podcast for Hawaii, land that I love. Now we've been around. The the, the island has been around for a long time. <laughs> like Al Pacino. I've been around, you know. <laughs> that didn't sound like Al Pacino right there. Mm. Who are? Go on. The state has it's been a state for a long time, right? Right. There's been TV shows that have shown. Okay, let's specifically talk about Honolulu. Okay. There has been shows, TV, movies that have shown Honolulu. Right. And they've shown buildings, they've shown streets, they've shown cars, even the airplane. A lot of times when they take off from wherever they're from, yes. they show LAX and the plane is going up. Right. They show it arriving at an airport in Honolulu, and not at Jurassic Park. Yeah. yeah not, okay, okay. You don't land in the ocean and then you gotta <laughs> you know make your way to the land. So you, I mean, aren't you paying attention? What surprises me are people, tourists who first time to Hawaii are surprised when they see our freeways or even buildings. Really? Yeah, they're like, oh my God, this is just like San Francisco. Mm, and what are you telling them? No, it's a lot like Hawaii. <laughs> no, I tell, them, I tell them like, oh, well, of course, you know, I'm a comedian, so I'm like, you're in Hawaii, you know, I play out, like, you're not in Hawaii. I'm like, what? It's like, but it's stupid. I mean, in, especially in this age, YouTube. Uh huh. Um, you can, or you, I mean, online, you can go search, like, um, we're booking flight to Hawaii, and we're going to stay in a hotel. Let me see what it looks like. Right. Look, they have buildings. Before your dumbass gets here and goes, oh, my God, is that a freeway? Do you think we still live in grass shacks? Yeah. And we can, even in, in, in the 90s, when I went to college... And a, you, I was thinking these guys were just kidding when right. they would they would ask me, "What do you do when the volcano erupts?" So I'm 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 giggling like oh silly, but they're they were being serious. They were asking a serious question. They really wanted to know what happens. Did, when you, the, did you give them a serious answer? Oh, of course not. What did you tell? I said, "Oh well, what we do is we climb up on the trees or we run into the ocean because it's safe out there in the ocean." <laughs> And then there's because I, I was on a full uh, a football scholarship, right? So they asked me, "You guys play football down there?" And your response was, "No." I mean, I, I'm always saying something stupid, but that's not the point. It's that it's like seriously, are you seriously asking me? Do we play football? This is back then. I think only there was only Jesse Sapolu and Junior Seau. I think back then, or, and maybe Jason Elam. 
Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Mark, I recognize the greatest man. Yeah. Well, he, you know, he he did play for University of Hawaii, but he wasn't raised in Hawaii, right? right? So that's why I'm like, and they didn't know Polynesians at all. They're like, oh, um, I could have I could have made up stuff. I told my coach, um, oh, next week Wednesday is Kamehameha Day in in Hawaii, so I can't practice. <laughs> and so, you believed it? He he was no he oh, okay he was serious he was like oh do sir- you need that day off and I was like oh I was just kidding I was playing around and he's like no no seriously because if, if it's cultural then and you need the day off then take the day off I was like oh I showed up at practice of course I'm, <laughs> I'm, like, I'm, I'm doing this for you coach <laughs> yeah. doing this for you this is against every every bone in, in my body and the blood that goes through the Polynesians are. You know, my ancestors. If the high chief found out about this, <laughs> it'd be goners for you. You know what happens if I don't honor the king? <laughs> Back home, they're going to sacrifice one of my cousins. <laughs> <laughs> like, he was serious, though, which was cool. You know, that, that, I mean, that, that was nice of him. But still, I'm, I'm surprised that when people show up to... So if you guys are listening... In Hawaii, there is technology. <laughs> yes, you know we, we things travel. We, you know, I mean, hello, we're podcasting. Yeah, it's not. We're not rubbing two coconut. Coconut uh, wireless. Yes, <laughs> we're not rubbing two coconuts together. Although that does sound sexy. We're not. <laughs> not with just me and you, though. Yeah, that would be awkward. I would rub your coconut though if you really needed to. Really, you're yeah, a friend. I am a friend. I wouldn't do yours. I'd be like. Uh, Rub your own coconut. <laughs> These coconuts. <laughs> that should have been what Dr. Dre said in that joke. Yeah, I mean, I don't know. It's it's just something that's been frustrating me for a long time. It's, it, just like you know, when I say like when when um people come come to Hawaii, and then they're in Waikiki. Now Waikiki has tons of limousines yes even taxis are limousines in hawaii yes so when the kids are like look mommy a limousine and then look another one and i'm sitting there like yeah what'd What'd you expect duh stupid kids (laughs) so anyways i just think it's a little frustrating but please come and spend more of your money here (laughs) Yeah, podcasting live from the studio at Hawaiian Brian's, the guys with issues with James Mane, Russell Kealoha, and Chad Wago. Come to my house, babe. Prove me wrong. Tell me that I'm front and just for play Welcome, you cocoa nuts, kitties, and parents, boys and girls, and Hawaiian schnitzels. Hey. What's up, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome to the Guys With Issues, episode 73? 73. 7 third. 73. Wow. We're getting up there. We're getting close to that 100. Yep. That milestone landmark. Uh, at this rate, we'll be getting there, what, by March, maybe? Really? Uh, uh, not too week good. week for... Uh, maybe I mean, June, maybe June, June. Okay. Maybe June. somewhere in the summer, and we can have like a big giant show for that. Yeah, sweet. Because we'll be more famous by then. We'll have more sponsorships, more fans, more friends. Wow, so more groupies. Yes, I would see. I'll be honest with the ladies. That's why a man does anything for the groupies. For the ladies, oh. well, the groupies too. I mean, I'm oh, shoot, I'm single. Wouldn't it be weird if we had groupies? It depends what kind of groupies. <laughs> like if we had some like good groupies, like this ain't weird at all, dude. <laughs> but if we had some like you know like bearded lady groupies or 
you know, like one eye lady groupies. I think we should take the show on the road. <laughs> <laughs> so where are we doing? Why is there a beard? What if it's a bearded lady with one eye? That lady's got one issue. No, she's got more than one issue. But anyways, I would love it if we had groupies. So we are taking um, orders for anyone who would like to. Or we're we're going to put out a list. If you would like to be a groupie of the guys with issues, uh, email us at guyswithissues at gmail.com. Well, what are the criteria for a groupie? Um, first, you must be alive. Okay. No dead groupies. Yes. Second, um, well, you must be female. I don't know about Chad. Chad's not here yet, but maybe Chad might be down with something else. Chad <laughs> might be, be down with the jingling balls. <laughs> You just said you would rub coconut, so... Well, only if we had to. Oh. <laughs> but push comes to shove. I will shove. <laughs> so, my <laughs> hand on your coconut. <laughs> you are a true friend, my, my friend. Uh, I appreciate that. And that, that makes it worth all the times I pick you up and drop you off. Thank you. To know that one day, if, God forbid, I lose my hands, yeah, there's someone out there... That would rub my coconuts. I have a spare for you. Yeah. And it's someone I trust. Yes. A true friend that we've done 73 episodes together. Yeah. See? You know what? It's not the end of the world, doctor. I have a friend. Then I'll jump in the room and go, shh, my lips to your, <laughs> my finger to your lips. Shh. And, then, and then close up of my eye with a tear <laughs> coming down. <laughs> I got this, James. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> Doctor, can we have some private time? <laughs> Why don't you drop your pants and turn her and, <laughs> and turn your head? Wow, it got weird. Uh, what were we talking about? Friendship is not weird. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it's only weird when you when, make it weird. Yes, when you kiss, that's when it becomes weird. Um, welcome to episode seventy-three. My name is James Mane. As always, I am with. Russell Kealoha. Hello to all the snitches. Yeah. <laughs> We're mixing it up today. We're mixing it up today. What's up, you snitches? You you dirty rat. I don't know why every time I do it, I think of the, you dirty rat. Was that a movie? Yeah. You dirty rat, you killed my, my brother. My father. Or something my like that. I thought, you dirty rat, you killed my brother. And then I don't know why I think of... Muhammad Ali with Parkinson. That's, you, that's how you say it. <laughs> you dirty rat. You stung like a bee. <laughs> I'm the greatest of all time. And then I roll into... I'm a bad man. <laughs> then I roll into uh, Martin Brando. You dirty rat. I could have been a contender. Stella! I don't know why I went there. Oh, wait. I think I got, I think I got the clip. Hold on. Okay. You might have got lucky today. Sweet, sweet. Twice. 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 Co- coconut rubbing. It's the gift that keeps on giving. Russell Kealoha is. <laughs> Kealoha does stand for K, love. Uh huh. B, hello. Oh. You're too late. <clears throat> He's gone. Okay, this is weird. Cagney, 1932. Oh, Jimmy Cagney. That sounds right. Mm. Oh. Oh, so it's more of an action. <laughs> yeah. He's gone, eh? This is a three-hour clip. <laughs> Come Clint. out and take it, you dirty yellow-bellied rat, or I'll give it to you through the door. Oh, he hit her, right? Please, Matt, listen to me, will you? Get away from me, Just don't give it to you, too. Get away from that door. No. Get away from that door. No. I think he hits her, right? Oh, I guess the cops came. The coppers? Oh, I guess that was the line. It was just you dirty rat. Oh, must be something else though. That was quick though. But that, you know, that reminds us of the, our early days in podcasting. I think for four episodes, <laughs> yeah, we kept resorting to that. What is that dude's name? I don't know. It, it, copper. Ah, say. Yeah, I tell you, buddy. <laughs> for like four, I think the first. Five episodes ever of Guys with Issues. It was, uh, ma, see? We're gonna eat all the popcorn, see? Ma. Welcome to Fantasy Island, see? Ma. Speaking of eating all the popcorn, happy birthday. Yeah. Happy birthday to one of the founding 
members of the guys with the issues, Peter Austin. Hey, Peter. Yeah. Well, I'm sure he's not listening. He wasn't listening when we started, when he was on the <laughs> podcast. And he's, I'm, I doubt he's listening now. Although he did say he would come back and be a guest. Maybe that 100th episode or something. Maybe. Yeah. Well, 75 is a milestone. That's coming around, around the corner. Yeah, that's in two weeks. See, maybe we can have like a guest appearance. Uh, I think Sparkles is is um, doing a show here at Hawaiian Brian's um, for us at the Mars Comedy Club. Oh, and maybe we can have him on then. Yeah. So that we can have, hey, welcome home. Like we can play, welcome back. Welcome back. Welcome back. Where the dreams were your ticket out. Welcome back. That's my favorite song of all time, dude. It's that and um, um, All I Want for Christmas is My Two Front Teeth by Chipmunks. That, that's your favorite song? <laughs> when that song comes on, I am happy. <laughs> that song that makes is your me, favorite song? That's one of my favorite songs. Well, the Welcome Back Carter, yeah, it's my favorite song. No, no, that, the Two Front Teeth. It's an awesome song. Theodore oh. sings it. See, I don't even know who's... It's not Alvin. Yeah. Everybody, oh, the song by Alvin. It's not Alvin. I think I'm going to take it back from my coconut rubbing cribs. What? <laughs> <laughs> See, what would be like a dream or fantasy for me is while you're rubbing my coconuts, I'm listening to that song. All I want for Christmas is my two front teeth. And that would be money. That would be like like, uh, uh, like puppies were... were, 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 were Cuddling me or something while with like sexual pop interracial son. <laughs> you can't do visual stuff <laughs> no. on a, on an audio podcast. You can't point out somebody outside <laughs> walking walking by Mars Comedy Club, and nobody knows what you're talking about. I used to have hair like that though. By the way, really oh, yeah. bushy, froey hair. Uh, welcome, Chad Wag Diesels. Chad Wago in the house. Yo. There he is. He just showed up. Got off that bus like a like a boss off the bus. How how was the weather out there? Uh, not that bad. Oh. oh, it's not raining. Uh, not anymore. Not like it was earlier today. Oh yeah, we were on our way down. It was coming down. I think how Chad takes off his glasses. Like now, it's time for business. Mm. It's podcasting time. Did you hear? Russell would rub my coconuts. I I did. And uh, I, I would also like to uh, point out some stuff for uh, the groupies. Mm, please. Uh, we don't just want you to identify as female. We would like you to have been born with female genitalia <laughs> yeah. and still have them intact. <laughs> See, that's why we need. That's why Chad's on the show because, like, I could have said that, and all of a sudden, you know, hi, brother. <laughs> so, so if they did the surgery and everything, and you didn't know until it was time when it's time to go down. Go down, go down, or yeah, when, when, when it's everything is time gonna, to get to yeah. business. It's time when to get I'm to going business. Down or when it's about to go down. When it's about to go down. Okay. Do you? And then she's like, "Oh, I was once a dude." Does it end there? I would, yeah, I would be like, "Oh, I got it. I'm turned <laughs> off." Uh, I mean, the, I think the hard part would be if you fell in love with the person. Like if you, like, if, for the longest time, you met somebody you're dating. Like the what's that um what's it, M Butterfly or something like that, and then you just like Butterfly, what? Madam or M Butterfly or what? M Butterfly. Yeah, right. That's the right the Vietnamese uh, Vietnam Vietnam War or something like that. No, or something. Like that. I'm making I, I, so I know what you're referencing, but my, my reference for uh, not uh, originally female down there or not currently female is the Crying Game. Yeah. yeah. Oh, with the still the dingling though. Yeah. Okay, so let's say post op. Yes, um, you guys went on a couple of dates, and maybe before he had feminine features. You know, the face was you know wasn't so masculine. <laughs> and then <laughs> you got to work on your timing there. <laughs> that was an accident. Um, but <laughs> yeah, <laughs> see, that was good timing. <laughs> so, like, yeah, but now I throw out the. Go ahead. Um, go ahead. Go ahead. If. You fell in love, and then you were about to have sex or whatever, and then you, or you did have sex, and then after they said, "Oh, guess what? I'm I used to be. I was born a man or a boy. You can't be born a man, right? That would hurt your mom if you were born a man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, let me out of here. <laughs> like, Ooh, that's slimy. I don't want. I want one. 
you, you, you come out of the womb with the Beats by Dre headphones. I'm the man. I'm the man. <laughs> so, okay. That's a tough situation. Yeah. I mean, would it, would it end? Uh, okay. If you found out after, he said, I was once a dude. I think I, I okay, answering now, because I'm not in that situation. Right. You know what I mean? But I'm answering now, if, if I was, I hope oh, never. <laughs> You're not in that situation yet. Well, just for that, I'm going to be, I'm never, I'm single forever. Okay. Well, go ahead. Just because of your statement right there with the yet. The, you don't, you don't want karma to come back and bite you. You're <laughs> yeah. just like, no, no, no relationships ever. I'm never falling in love. I'm knocking on, it's not really wood, but it's paper. <laughs> <laughs> it came from wood, right? Knock on plastic. Yeah. No, this is I got paper over. Oh, here. okay. Right, that came from a tree, so knock on wood. Okay. I would say now. Uh, I mean, now if it happened now, I'd be like, um, I you know, I'm sorry, I can't do this because it, it it changes everything. Oh. Nothing against you as a person. Well, maybe maybe you should have been more upfront when we yeah. started dating. I would be upset at that. I, I'm not like I wouldn't like blast them in the face and you you know like. Don't you tell anybody about this yeah. <laughs> stupid thing? <laughs> you know, I'm not like, I wouldn't be like that. You, know. you better tell anybody in a second. I'm going to ruin your life. <laughs> but I, w- I, would, I would be like, hey, you know, it's not going to work. Because I will always be thinking of it. And it's like even when you're in a relationship and somebody, you know, like say your, your, girl, uh, your girl that you're in a relationship with cheats. Mm-hmm. And being honest with myself, I said that happened to me with a girl in my relationship. Geez. And, you know, I, I can forgive her, but I can no longer be in that relationship because it'll always be in the back of my head that, you know. She did it once. She could do it again. Not not so much that. It's just that, like, oh, so what is, you know, was he better than me or mm. why did you do it? Just the questions would just keep. And you guys know how my brain is. It, mm-hmm. It'll keep. It'll it'll keep swimming around in my head, and yeah. I would never let it down. He'd be like, "She had balls once. You might have balls again." <laughs> <laughs> you never know. It dropped the first time. It might drop twice. <laughs> you know, like lightning and stuff. <laughs> balls can strike twice. <laughs> Maybe they only cut off the one. <laughs> Oh, why are you dating Lance Armstrong? He's <laughs> got all of those awards. So, <laughs> so, so Chad, uh, I honestly don't know. Like, like James said, uh, you know, until you're in that situation, you don't know exactly how it's going to be. Um, I'm leaning towards no, just because I do want to have kids at some point. Yeah, but you can adopt now. See, now that means I mean, you could you could adopt back then too. But I'm also saying now, that's weird. Chad wants to have kids eventually. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's the weird part I took out of what he was saying. What Chad's gonna have? Chad's gonna be a daddy? That'd be interesting. I'm not saying you would be a bad daddy because you do care, and that's we need bad I, uncles. I, I, w- I wouldn't be shadow dad. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what I mean is, you guys throw me under the bus. <laughs> Uncle James will be like the boogeyman to them. <laughs> I'm gonna sing with Uncle James. <laughs> no. What I mean is, you care. As a person, mm-hmm. like you, if, if that's the start, it, it, having a kid will change your life, but the kid will make you feel a certain way and you will change your life. Mm-hmm. It's like, oh, I need to stop messing around and doing this and that. I need to be serious because this person's depending on me to be stable. Mm-hmm. And I think you would have that. I think you too, Russell. I think you guys would make good dads. So, but go back to having sex with the. Uh, Tranny. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I think you'd be a good dad. Let, now let's talk about tranny sex. <laughs> would it be a tr- would this still be a tranny? Well, it would be transgender, right? Transgender. Yeah. 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 Oh, I, I believe the preferred nomenclature among them is trans. Trans. Yeah, just trans. I trans. <laughs> Transformer. <laughs> <laughs> no, they they could call each other that. It's oh. like the N word. Oh, so we would say the so, T word. <laughs> would ours be treg? <laughs> no, 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 no. I mean, I mean, we can refer to them as trans, and it's okay because it's respectful. But if tranny? we call them a tranny, that's disrespectful. Oh, uh, so it's like the so they can call the, themselves like it's like nigga and nigger. Trigger. trigger. Uh, <laughs> it's okay. I can say it. I, I'm dark skin. Huh? Are you, you dark skin? When tranny? I went to school, when I went to when I went to school in Buffalo, we, I was. I mean, I go to the mainland. I'm I'm black. There's no Samoan group. Really? 
Yeah, well, that's how it was then. That's how we're. I, I can go Buffalo now. There's still no Samoans there. I know. But wouldn't you be part of the more like maybe the Puerto Rican? Group? That's what they thought. But then, to you know, majority of the community in Buffalo, white, um, would consider you know all part of, I guess, not white. Pittsburgh was like that. Pittsburgh, like I would be, I was. Um, I'm, I'm sure they know Samoans in Pittsburgh now. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah nowadays yeah, yeah, the true, Samoan true. culture has well, changed, uh, thanks to Polamalu. Yeah, well, it's different though because uh, in Pittsburgh, I was accepted by both sides, but both sides didn't really like each other. The so blacks like, and the PRs. What's the PRs? Puerto Ricans. Oh no, no, there wasn't. Oh. There was. There's no Latinos in Pittsburgh. Well, I didn't see any. There's maybe a very small community, but okay. it was black or white. Ah, okay. And then um, like when I hang around with black people. You know, I was, what's up, dog? What's up, nigga? You know, shit. But then when I went to work, which is, I was working um, at the bank, uh, Mellon Carnegie, or no, Mellon Bank. And then, you know, I, like, I, I, back then I was smoking cigarettes. I was smoking Newports. And then they they would joke around with me like I was one of them. Like, oh, you're smoking the brother's cigarettes. You know, like, they're poking mm-hmm. But I was accepted because I wasn't. All I, the way black. I guess. Yeah. I wasn't all the way live. <laughs> you were a, that nice medium. Yes. Nice medium brown. Medium brown. You, you were a gray person. <laughs> I guess. So, Chad, you would have sex with a trans. <laughs> but you would break up with him. No, I mean, I'm sorry. We, we went That's off what you rules. would do. <laughs> well, what would you do, Russell? I don't know. Love is love, I guess. You know who you fall in love with. Can't help it. So you would just be like, hey, guys, um, episode 103, yep. <laughs> you know, um, I yeah. wanted to come out and confess with you guys. You know what a Macklemore song video is playing on the Grammys? <laughs> <laughs> That's how I feel <laughs> about Winona. <laughs> His so, real name so was you, Wally. So you feel like people should stop saying mean things about Winona on YouTube? Yeah. You guys remember my friend... Roberta, <laughs> you remember my girlfriend Roberta? Well, she has some serious news. Well, she's pregnant. No, that in fact that'll never happen. <laughs> that she will never. So she's a dude. Uh, <laughs> Roberto. Yeah, I'm supportive of her ways. No, that uh, you being honest. I mean, I I'm not homophobic. I'm not. You know what? Um, anything against yes, yeah, that is that a yep. term? Trans- transphobic? That's a new one. Sound like the next character on, on Star Wars or something. <laughs> Darth <laughs> transphobe. <laughs> Darth trans. <laughs> well, I wonder what is Darth Vader? If he's, he 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 only is what uh, chest up, right? Well, he's kind of like you. No, no, I think he, he, he has some inside, stumps. Inside, he's white. But outside, he's black. So he's accepted by both communities. <laughs> <laughs> the Jedi as well as the... Uh, Sith. Yeah, the Sith. Totes my goats. <laughs> <laughs> that is so weird. Anyways. Um, well, uh, okay, we're, we're off the rails again. You're like the brownest brownie that ever brownied. <laughs> <laughs> You're like the brownie with the nuts in it. Uh, we have a fan participation question to get through. Ooh, which one is that? <clears throat> All right, we posted on our on our uh, personal pages um, this question. We all have that irritating person at work. Tell me one thing that they do that makes you want to slap them in the face. Now, I mean, it doesn't have to be your job, or it can also be school or wherever it is that you go and spend your days. There's always that one person that's like, oh, God. Here comes Jennifer or whatever, you know. She's always smacking her lips during lunch. You know, that thing. And I'm not pointing out what you were doing earlier. Yeah. <laughs> like, well, that's an unusual thing to be upset about. No, no. It, it, you just get, if you hear it every day, mm. over and over, you know, it, it, it'll build up. Cause you, but if you just hear it on Wednesdays? <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so I'm sure Roberto gets irritated by it. <laughs> Anyways, okay, so here's some of my friends. Uh, they um, 
uh, some of them uh, might have outed themselves at their job <laughs> if, they were, if they were talking about um, somebody that listens to the podcast or follow or is a friend of mine on my Facebook. Anyways, here's a, a one: uh, Sherry Vieira. They breathe. Wow. It's just I guess just their existence <laughs> That's just irritates. That's cold blood. <laughs> <laughs> To, to be fair, like, some people breathe, like, in a way that's, like, super uncomfortable. Like, old people. Oh. Like, when you listen. Here we go. When you listen to them, <laughs> you're just like, oh, God, this, this is creepy. Like, you want them to stop, but then you're like, no, if you stop breathing, then you die. So, to me, old people are scary in general. They're, are they ever, like, I mean, when you get to, like, the, nine, the 80, 90-year-olds, and their hands are so cold. It's like they have no meat in it. I'm going to get off of this in case I start insulting people. Uh, I don't think we have that many 80 or 90 year old <laughs> listeners. I don't think that's our demographic, James. <laughs> <laughs> well, there's people that have grandparents. and they, You're better than my grandfather. <laughs> he fought in the war. <laughs> Why were you playing him as our podcast? <laughs> <laughs> oh, here's one from Kama Tam. Uh, stupid question repeaters. I would agree with that. Yes. I Okay, so go ahead and ask me a question, and we'll do this example for the people. Can I still rub your balls? Can you still rub my balls? No, it's here, it's sure you can. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> but too bad you're no longer in the mood. Yes. <laughs> no more ball rubbing. Uh, here's one from uh, our friend at Club 939, Stuart. He, of course, it, it's, a, it's a gentleman's club. So Hawaii's well, premier gentleman's club. Thank you. He hates when she rubs her boobs on his arm and tries to get him to buy her a shot. Hashtag first world problems. <laughs> <laughs> Here's one of my favorite ones. Uh, okay, uh, this one person at work always says, let's rock and roll, and then never does anything. <laughs> <laughs> I like that one. How dare you summon the gods of rock just to sit down and do nothing. Imagine that. Hey, let's rock and roll. And the just done. What are you doing? We're supposed to rock and roll. Damn you. Damn you to hell. Okay, Russell, you got any of your friends? Uh, let's see. Crystal pleads the fifth. I used to work with her, so I know who you're talking about, Crystal. <laughs> is it you? It's not me. I know who you're talking about. <laughs> Chad, is it you? Uh, Sean said he came to work again. <laughs> <laughs> That's cold blooded. Uh, Kelly says she irritates herself. Yeah. And Zen said that one cheap bugger, uh, he drinks all the free curried coffee in the lunchroom, only brings a one bag of Doritos to the office potlucks, and took his mini stickers off his desk. Oh, damn. Damn. That guy deserves a, a whooping. Whooping. You guys have curried, you guys have curried coffee? Yeah, yeah. yeah. I actually bought like a 36 pack variety thing for Christmas present for my office. Yeah, it's gone. Yeah, that thing was gone in three days. Yeah. Wow. Wow. Who who normally buys it? I don't know. It's not an office no, supply no. thing. The office coffee machine is one of those old crappy ones. Oh, we have two of those. <laughs> yeah, we have uh, two of those, and we have uh, one Keurig, and then everyone's expected to supply their own things for that. Oh, so you have your own personal Keurig, like things in your desk uh you have a desk yeah no no i don't have a desk oh. you don't have a desk nope oh. i don't have a desk either what, what do you have uh i have a desk that i sit down at sometimes but i share that with uh three other guys Ooh, Ooh, Ooh. three-way <laughs> no, 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 go no. on come on james i thought you were taking math right now that's four people oh. <laughs> <laughs> phil <laughs> <laughs> Took the game by the Asian man. <laughs> <laughs> so it is true. <laughs> All right. Mm. But if somebody jumps you, look who's going to be running to the Samoan guy. <laughs> 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 All right. So is that it? That's it. Okay, Chad, what you got? All right. Um, let's see. What do I got? Uh, hold on. Sorry. My phone just froze. It's okay. Now would be a good time to mention a sponsor. <laughs> You want, you want uh, to mention a sponsor? Uh, I would like to give a shout out to Hawaii Aloha Travel. 
hawaii-aloha.com for all your travel needs or 808-589-2000 you guys can uh, give them a call if you're planning a trip anywhere not just to hawaii however they are the hawaii experts call 808-589-2000 beep boop boop beep boop boop and ask for bruce hello my speak to bruce hey that's bruce <laughs> I'm spot on. <laughs> <laughs> the, the energy was there, but the, the sound wasn't quite Bruce. But anyways, yeah, um, you can also check out his podcast called Lucky We Live Hawaii. Uh, oh, Lucky We Live 808. Oh, wait, Lucky We Live Hawaii. And the website is luckywelive808.com. So check out his podcast. Uh, he helped us get started with our Guys With Issues podcast. Yeah, yeah. Okay, Chad, what you got? All right. So uh, DJ Derek, uh Another comedian, he said, uh, steal f- your food from the refrigerator. Oh, man. You do that at the bus company? The person whose food Over. got stolen wants to kill. <laughs> like murder, death, kill. They must have some good lunches over there. I don't know why you would leave it in, in there. And anyway, the refrigerator is like, it, it's in the driver's lounge where hundreds of people come in and out. Mm-hmm. So why would you leave it in that refrigerator? So. Founding member of Guys with Issues, Johnny Sparkles, said inappropriately hitting on co-workers of the opposite sex. Say that again? Inappropriately hitting on members oh. of the opposite sex. So there's Which somebody leads me to believe that same sex inappropriateness is absolutely fine with him. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like the Macklemore song. <laughs> same love, bro. Same love. He's uh, an open minded gentleman. Yep. Comedian uh, Kevin Titt. The fact that carrying on a conversation about the voice goes further than one about current world events. Oh. Uh, promoter. <laughs> 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 I, I wasn't sure if you guys were going to say anything about the voice. Oh, yeah. No, we shouldn't. <laughs> Maybe uh, you should screen these better, Chad. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. Uh, promoter Preston Scott Talau, suck teeth. Oh, yeah. My mom does that. Can and you, I can you do her. that for me? I don't know what that means. Well, okay, yeah, okay. What's funny is as soon as I read that comment on my Facebook, I immediately sucked my teeth. Like it was just weird. Like re- rebellious, huh? Yeah. You don't like that? <laughs> How do you spell that so I can, re- so I can reply to your post? <laughs> my absolute favorite, though, is uh, another comedian, Brandy. She said, I can't think of any annoying person at work. Does that mean that it's me? Yeah. Speaking of trends. <laughs> Brandy, actually, pretty funny. She yeah. was here last week at the Mars Comedy Club. I thought it was pretty funny. Was that the first time that you got to see her? Yeah. Okay. It was for me. Because she's yeah, me been too. doing uh, Station for a few months now. As Brandy? Or? Yeah. Because she's not, uh, uh, she didn't have to, uh, surgery. Pre-op. Yeah, she's pre-op. But she always comes out as a lady. Yeah. Okay. Because sometimes I see somewhere, you know, they dress as ladies, but then they also go as men, too. Mm-hmm. Or as a man. Like RuPaul, he did that for a while. <clears throat> yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. But weird because as a man, he's still, you can tell that. It's like, that guy's not like a dude. Mm-hmm. You can see his But some some guys like, well, actually, no, all of them actually kind of feminine. Anyways. So uh, back when you used to uh, work, what, what was yours, James? Oh, f- I would get irritated. It's tough because... So you, many people irritated you? <laughs> <laughs> True. The, the set was, I just made 17 years in um, January 17th. Um, but it's you're not really around other drivers. You know what I mean? Because you, you go, you report in, and you go drive, and you're around passengers. Right. And there's so many things that passengers do that irritate you. You know, like, they they stink or... Like when someone is smoking cigarettes, they see the bus coming, but they'll and you stop and they'll keep puffing their cigarette, even after you open the door because they want to get all of it. Yeah, be, you know. So they take that, they inhale that one last one, and then they walk on the bus exhaling. Mm-hmm. I, I understand cigarettes are expensive now, so if you go ahead and take the last puff, but blow it out outside. Yeah. Or if you're first, let the other people go in while that you, you do more that. Time to smoke. Yeah. Don't just don't hold up the line, and then all of a sudden, you know, you come in with that with that because we don't. I don't smoke. I mean, I, I, luckily I have the window, but mm-hmm. it's just courtesy. Yeah. You know, just be. You know, think about the other people. That's that's my thing. I hate when when people come on and just think this is my world. 
Arundis. So thank you guys for uh, participating in our fan participation question. Uh, next week we'll have another question. If you guys want to um, be part of this for the podcast, you can uh, go to facebook.com slash guys with issues or on Twitter at guys with issues to see these questions. We usually post them on Tuesdays. So make sure you get there before Tuesday. Um, and last, on all of our personal pages. Yeah, on our personal pages as well. Uh, last week, or this past weekend, we had the Pro Bowl, which, uh, Chad, did you see the Pro Bowl? No, no, I, I was busy being a nerd and playing board games. So I'm the only one here that saw the Pro Bowl. <laughs> Yeah, yes. you made me wish that I had been watching it, though. It sounded like it was really good this year. Uh, just briefly, because, you know, since I'm the only one that saw it, it would be weird having a conversation with you two <laughs> that never saw it. It was the best Pro Bowl ever because they actually played hard. Mm -hmm. uh, Peyton Manning last year got a group together. Uh, they say Peyton Manning led the way. He uh -huh. got a group of guys together and said, we need to do something to change it so that the game is exciting again for the players and, of course, the audience. Because you remember the past two years, guys are like it was like walk through practice. Yeah, yeah. So now some of them weren't even walking. Some of them were strolling. Yeah, it was so like what the hell. So what they did now is they changed a lot of the rules. The, uh, the most the major rule was there's no more NFC versus AFC. It's like fantasy football draft with um, um, Dion and Jerry, Dion Sanders and Jerry Rice would pick their captains, and then their captains would draft their team. So whoever made the Pro Bowl, they're in the back room, like a draft room. And they had uh, at the, um, I think, Koalina mm -hmm. uh, Hotel, Ilani Hotel, they had the audience sitting out and watching. And then as they, they we choose so-and-so, and then they would come walking through the crowd and shaking hands on their way out. So it was a oh. really, they really got the crowd involved. And a lot of uh, local people as well as tourists that, were, that got to go down and be a part of it said they had a great time. So I really got... Every the, the fans back into it. Mm -hmm. um, Do you know who was picked last? Oh no, I don't actually. I mean, because I'm not going <clears> to <throat> feel too bad for them because there's still a Pro Bowl selection. Right. But it must be kind of like, oh, I can't believe. Well, I what got they did is last. they went by positions. Okay. So there's like um, uh, lineman first, mm -hmm. and then you know, skill or whatever. But it's funny. Oh, you must have been happy about that. Yeah. Well, they went with Terrell Suggs, and he was still in the back room. He's like, mm -hmm. and he playing around. He goes. I just want to be picked. <laughs> <laughs> so it was, a, it was a good time. The players enjoyed it. Jerry Rice was on the TV saying, we need to keep this going. We need to keep the Pro Bowl here in Hawaii. And you know, you know, all the players, even the two MVPs at the end, were saying, we want to keep it in Hawaii. So mm -hmm. hopefully they do keep it in Hawaii. So now in the game, because of the draft, they had, there was no conference uh, sides you had teammates going up against each other. Mm -hmm. The three biggest hits were from teammates. So I don't remember the names, but um, Jamal Charles, uh -huh. who who left the game, the playoff game with a concussion, yep. gets destroyed by his own linebacker. Head <laughs> head to head collision. Like Jamal Charles is coming through the this hole and it's huge. All of a sudden, the linebackers come. Boom, and just cleans him out. Ooh. And then the next one, right after, Cleveland Browns uh, guy is running around the corner and then gets flipped, literally flipped. He, he jumps, and then the guy, like, hits him in the legs, and his leg, he does uh, uh, somersault. Mm -hmm. And then the third one was uh, Tolbert from the Carolina Panthers. Yeah. Just cleans out, is it Kukley, the linebacker for Carolina Panthers, cleans him out. And it was like, holy cow. And then they're talking about their co their own coaches mm -hmm. must be back in the main. And like, what are you doing? You're going <laughs> to injure your own player. Uh, so that was the best part. And then the, they were competing. They, uh, they allowed bump and run coverage. Mm -hmm. They did it before. So the, the cornerbacks are really shut down. Uh, uh, the, the pass rushers were actually sacking the quarterback. There was nice. a lot of sacks. I think it was maybe – Total of maybe almost 10 sacks the whole day. I have the last pick of the draft. Okay, who, and he is? Alex Smith. <laughs> yeah. oh. <laughs> so he had to sit back there and wait in the green room again. What, yeah. what, what do they call that guy, the last pick of the draft? Mr. Irrelevant. He threw the winning touchdown. Oh. And, and on top of that, it wasn't that he was – it was like you're not the last one pick. He was just forced on the other, guy, other team because – 
They do a trade. No, no, no. They because oh. uh, in the last round, um, they pick Nick Foles. Oh, so it's like so automatically Alex Smith was put on the other team, <laughs> so he wasn't even picked. <laughs> <laughs> well, he had the winning touchdown, and they went for two, but they ended up running it in. But he was the winning, you know, I guess the winning quarterback. So interesting. I think Nick Foles was the winning, was the offensive MVP, mm-hmm. and I forget who was the defensive MVP. But it was an awesome game. It was a good day for football in Hawaii again. Uh, hopefully, they do come back next year, but we'll just wait and see. But speaking of, what is your real quick Super Bowl Super Bowl prediction, or who will you be cheering for? I'm cheering for the Seahawks. Okay, Seahawks. 21-24. 24 21. Yeah. Good um, game. I just, I just, uh, I hate both of you now because they beat the 49ers. Um, I, honestly, I'm going to go for <laughs> Chad's waving his hands in the air. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> now, honestly, I'm going to go with the Broncos, but I understand why you guys are picking the, the Seahawks because the defense. They say defense wins championships. No, no, I'm picking the Seahawks because I want to see all the Broncos fans cry. Oh. Uh, Same reason why I wanted the Seahawks to beat the Niners. Uh, okay. yeah, did you, did I'm you, just being a hater right yeah, now. Have you noticed the that. uprising of Broncos fans in in uh, Hawaii? I, yes. Have you noticed the Seahawks fans all of a sudden? Yeah, I'm like, no, where are these people? I actually people? haven't. You in the wrong place. All of a sudden, well, I knew there was a lot of Bronco fans mm-hmm. because Broncos know, have won Super Bowls before. I knew that there was a lot of dormant Broncos fans who stopped talking about the Broncos after Elway left. Yeah, the, yeah. The, like those well, the, secret tell. <laughs> well, they, they, you know, when they went to this, the, um, the playoffs with Tebow, mm-hmm. so I, I seen them, but it's – the Seahawks fans, I've never seen. Mm-hmm. I understand. I have friends who are from Seattle, so they, you know, they're rocking it. I'm like, yeah, of course, you know. And it, when when we lost to them, I gave them credit. I said, you guys were better than us. Plus, yeah. I think it would have been better if Seahawks went because 49ers lost key members. Mm-hmm. I mean, without Mikey Potty. They would have been, like, super depleted. Going. Yeah, without Mikey Potty or even uh, Navarro Bowman. Yeah. We are, we, we're deep in, in line and linebackers. But it's just not going to be the same. If we mm-hmm. lose, then everybody's like, well, you know, other. I'm not one of those. I am I like the Niners, but I'm not one of those, like, you know, I hate you because you're a Seahawks fan. You know, I'm not one of those um, where I don't change. I don't have a flag up. And yeah. I'm cheering for them because I did when I was a kid. Yeah. The 49ers win and lose. Bah, the people come up to me and go, oh, sorry. Like, sorry for what? I don't own that team. Yet. That is. <laughs> Yeah, that is not my team, you know. It's like, uh, but I cheer for them because that's Joe Montana days. So I just stuck it out, you know. The but. funny thing is, like, everyone talks about like the bandwagon Seahawks <laughs> fans and like how they're the, some of the most obnoxious fans. And everyone knows the uh, the stereotype of the Patriots fans, the mass right. ones. But the thing is, like, I don't. Uh, and all of the Seahawks fans and the Patriots fans that I know are very reasonable people. It's a lot, a lot of the Niners fans and Broncos fans who are like the loudest, most obnoxious people. Not you, James. Thank you. You hear that? It's not me. No, but I, I understand what you're saying because it's not not just them. Dallas Cowboy fans, too. I think it's mm-hmm. because they have a huge fan base. Then the more people you have cheering with you, the more obnoxious you can get. It's the whole thing with the gangs or whatever. That's, that's my Seattle cheering yeah. Right, I quit the show. You quit the show? Yeah, I quit. Huh? I'm going to go um, start a podcast with... Uh, <laughs> guy with issue. Yeah. <laughs> hey. No, he can still have more than one issue. <laughs> He's just one guy. Then. First guy issue, with- Skittles <laughs> Seahawk fans. <laughs> <laughs> I hate Skittles. It's not... It's, what are you, like the the swap meat M&M's? <laughs> You don't even have <laughs> you don't even have the chocolate in you. What's wrong with you? Taste the rainbow. That sounds like some kind of like thing stupid people say. <laughs> Taste the rainbow. Anyways, that's Gushers. our Gushers I, is also a Seahawks thing. Who Gushers? Yep, Richard Sherman loves Gushers. Is that the porno version of Gushers? <laughs> I'm sure he likes that too. Yeah. Alright, because to me that's what Gushers are. No, no, it's a candy with liquid inside. Exactly. <laughs> so I'm going with Not the Broncos. Named I'm, g- I'm so, going so, with the so when, Broncos. So when he was putting up that choke choke sign in the game, he was like, "I'm choking on my gushes." 
<laughs> so I'm going with the Broncos anyways. And I think it's going to be – Broncos are going to beat him by a lot. How much uh, did he get fined for that choke? I don't know. Somebody told me he got fined like $5 million. I'm like, no, $5 million? That's ridiculous. That's There's crazy. no way that they find him more than 50 k so I'm I'm gonna go with the uh, the Broncos. I think it's gonna be a smash. I think, um, what's his name? Um, Russell Wilson's gonna be off. He hasn't been the same. I mean, he still has that magic where he he eludes and all of a sudden he finds the open guy. But I think he's I don't know. It's it's not quite there. It's I think he's gonna get into that um, Kaepernick zone. And this is what I, I was hating with with 49ers as you know my team. Is that they bought too much into this Kaepernick is the man. To me, it it went Frank Gore and then Colin Kaepernick, not Kaepernick and then Gore. That's why they passed more this year, which is stupid to me, because we're a running team. I expect to see more running in the Super Bowl. I think the rushing attack is going to win, especially if the weather is really cold. Yeah. I mean, even though Peyton Manning lives in Colorado or they, they play in Denver. He hates the cold. He doesn't like the cold. And three of cold balls... Not good. He's originally from Louisiana, right? Yeah, he likes domes. Yeah. Domes, chrome domes. They're, they're originally from Louisiana, right? Yes. Oh, okay, okay. All right, so that's our predictions. We'll see what happens next week. Um, also, we'd like to see the best commercial. I'm looking. In- I'm really interested in seeing uh, Arnold Schwarzenegger's commercial. I want to see the Full House commercials. Full House. Yeah, yeah they, they have like this reunion thing with uh, all the all of uh, the Uncle Danny uh, or Uncle no, Joey. Yeah, Danny, Danny was the dad. Uncle right? Jesse. Yeah, Uncle Joey, Uncle Jesse, and Danny. Just them, not the girls. Yeah, just oh, them. Boo. <laughs> because um, yet <laughs> the middle sister she became pretty cute, right? Yes. What is her name? It was. Uh, uh, TJ, uh, D- DJ, Tanner, Stephanie. Stephanie. Every time I gotta say the last name to get the rest, and then the twins. That would be fun to see what the twins are up to. They kind of just fell off the earth. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> We're not stupid. Hence why we. <laughs> what? what? That's what's gonna happen to Justin Bieber. <laughs> but he's gonna get deported. He's gonna fall off the earth just like them. He's gonna, he's, he's, he's the next. He's the male Lindsay Lohan. He's going to get deported from America, according to WhiteHouse.org. <laughs> Wait, did they say? Did they respond already to the petition? Oh, that's, that's right. He's Canadian. Yeah. yeah. Heck, he's breaking uh, these laws. That's, that's it. right. Well, after 100000 they have to. Yeah, and they got their 100000 So, yeah, they, they have to, uh, I guess, what's the word? Talk about it. <laughs> nice. I don't think they, they don't necessarily have to deport him, but they have to address it. They have to address. That's uh, the word I'm looking for. They have to address it. Wouldn't it be something if, if last night... Uh, um, uh, Obama's State of the State, a uh, State of the Union address, included a Bieber. <laughs> oh, like at the very end. And finally, we're gonna deport Justin Bieber. <laughs> God bless America and send his ass back to Canada. <laughs> God bless you, good night. <laughs> yeah. That would have been awesome if if he said, "Thank you for listening to the podcast." <laughs> for my Hawaii brothers back home, you know what I'm saying. All right. Speaking of music, Grammys. The Grammys was also this past weekend, yep. which we have seen something we can talk about. And we did all watch that. Yes, and we were we were going back and forth online while we were watching it, and was like, "What the hell is going on with Katy Perry's performance?" <laughs> that was to me that was the worst performance of the really. Night. Yeah, I was like, "What?" Uh, there was a lot of performances that were like, "What, what is this?" <clears throat> I thought I thought. Uh, Royals was a pretty bad performance. It was weird. For yeah. for me, it was uh, the Chinese guy with Metallica. Yeah. <laughs> it's like... The, I really hated that one. Yeah, like, mm-hmm. what, water and oil? It's like, well, this just doesn't go together. Or maybe have rather him, they actually had a panda. Yeah. <laughs> or maybe had him play mm-hmm. while they were playing. Instead of... Well, who who was the guy playing? Lung Lung? Lung Lung or something like that? It was like Lung Lung or Long Long. Yeah. Uh-huh. It's either it Lung Lung or Long Long. It sounds Lung. like the name of a panda. Yeah. <laughs> he was wearing a white uh, suit, right? Yes, yes. <clears throat> but he was playing, like, and then they would stop, Metallica would stop playing, so you can hear the piano. Mm-hmm. I was like, oh, you, you're killing some of the best parts. of. They played uh, the one 
They sang one, and I love that song. And one you, love. That one? No. Really? Oh. That's a Metallica <laughs> song? Oh, wow. And, Screw you guys. <laughs> and, and the Just worst part about coconuts. it is that Metallica actually does know how to play with accompaniment. They they released a whole like album, S&M, where it was them and the uh, San Francisco Symphony. Ah. One is the one... Um, um, wait, shoot. Uh, darkness. I don't know the lyrics. Um, mm-hmm. um, but it's not. I like how he's just torturing you by making you sing it when he could easily look it up on the computer. <laughs> no, no, he's the one that's like, it's like me going, one is the loneliest. <laughs> it's like, it's not even close, dude. It's not even the same era. <laughs> I'm not. I don't look bad at all. I don't. I don't know. I feel. I feel like you two is. Uh, it's close era wise. Yeah. Now that I know what it's from. No, the one I was singing. Okay. All right. Anyways, but um, who's your favorite performer? Favorite performer? I like. I said I like Kendrick, oh, Kendrick Lamar and the Imagine Dragons is good. That, uh, that one was really good. Yeah, like I like that the the paint the dye mm-hmm. poof, and I was like, oh, I fire. thought it was just colored smoke, and I'm like, oh shit, they're they're covered in paint. I I, I wonder if Kendrick knew that that was coming, or because I don't know, he didn't look usual self after. He kind of I, I thought he looked like stunned. Kinda, he looked like he put his hood like like um what's his name on South Park. Kenny? Oh, Kenny. Yeah, he looked like he did that during the middle, at the end of the performance. Oh. To me, it looked like he was like, what the hell? <laughs> like, what the hell is this? It's white people. <laughs> like, maybe he was standing where he was. <laughs> and that, maybe he was mad because the color didn't show up on his skin. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, damn it. I told him not to put purple on my black skin. It doesn't show. I just love the idea of Kendrick Lamar, like, fucking white people. <laughs> But that to me, I thought it was it was cool. I, I liked it. That was yeah, my favorite uh, performance. Well, what is that girl's name? I don't know that girl's name. That country singer, Casey Musgraves. Yeah, the one that came right after Daft Punk. Yeah, that was such How a do weird you follow transition. That? It was like, hey, here, uh, ladies and gentlemen, Chris Rock, and then Chris does his thing. Go, All right, thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Now, Chad Wago. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, it was kind of like that. It's like, well, he's promising, but you guys didn't help him out at all. Yeah. But I mean, she's cute. Mm-hmm. And like, I didn't, but I, it was like, oh, I'm still thinking about, I'm still processing that Stevie Wonder messed up his part. Mm-hmm. But I hear Stevie does he mess up a lot. his words. Well, he, he even does, he, his, there's a, a video where he forgot the own words to his own song. The, the, the na, 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 the one at the end? No, no, his. Uh, I'm not sure. His he has his own his, one of his own songs. Another older video, older older video where he he messed at a live concert, of course, where he messed up the words to his own song. So it's not like something new. I, I know we talked about it before. I don't know if uh, Chad noticed, but did you notice that when when Daft Punk was introduced, Stevie Wonder even looked back? No, I didn't like notice he, that he, one. He knew but exactly. I remember you mentioned it. Maybe oh. he felt the air change. Yeah. His other senses. He he got up and walked so, to the so piano. You're that he's yeah. daredevil. Yeah, his his hearing is just amazing. He did get up and walk to the piano, but he was feeling for it. Can you imagine that? Like, and why blind? didn't anybody help him? <laughs> you know, I mean, out of courtesy. I think that's him showing off. And I think during the first verse of the song, Stevie was supposed to sing, and I swear I saw Pharrell point to him, <laughs> point to Stevie <laughs> as if it was helping him. <laughs> And here's your visual cue, Stevie. <laughs> what, what was he playing during the first part of the song before he went to the piano? Because it looked like he was just drumming on a plastic table. Maybe yeah. that's what it was. Maybe he was just drumming on like a... Uh, like someone just put a table in front of him and he assumed it was his piano. And he's like, you motherfuckers. <laughs> and he was like, wait a minute. What the hell? There's no... Uh, maybe he was trying to do his version of the Pitch Perfect song. Oh. <laughs> He's had like a cutting board in front of him. <laughs> he's, like, he, he's trying to do cups, but no one gave him cups either. <laughs> That's why he didn't sing. Is that I'm not singing until you guys give me the cup. <laughs> Damn y'all. Um, I thought it was overall okay. Um, it was. It certainly wasn't the worst award show I've ever seen. Yeah, I, I like that LL wasn't involved in the whole show. So, because I mean, he's he's not a host host. Yeah, you know, but he did he did fine. He wasn't bad. He did fine. It was, it was like, hey, here's the show. Here's some history. Boom, let's go. But he kept referring to Taylor Swift a lot, like 
that's my girl. Like, what's up, girl? It's like, it's kind of awkward. Like her, like her dancing? <laughs> well, <laughs> it is a, what do you call it, gif or whatever? It is. Yeah. So they take a piece. We don't know what she did. Actually, she might have just like dropped it, you know, and started twerking. No, no she didn't. <laughs> no, she didn't. She did the white girl dance. <laughs> Believe funny. me, I was watching for. I was watching to see like, oh, what's she gonna look like dancing? I bet this is gonna be hell of awkward. <laughs> it was funny to me because it looked like she was doing the Pee Wee Herman. Because she brings her hand down and she does that thing with her hip and like, what? What is? She, what do you? Do? Somebody grabs somebody's head and puts them in their crotch. That's what it felt I, like she was doing. That's the Pee Wee Herman? <laughs> yeah, Pee Wee Herman, you go like that, and then, like the, the tequila oh, song. Oh, okay. Yeah, but the, the way you're describing this Pee Wee Herman is like, you bring your head to your crotch, and then you wipe your ass. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, you it's kids like, don't my know. Dick, toss my salad. <laughs> I'm Pee Wee Herman. It's the word of the day. Ah! <laughs> I don't know how to <laughs> laugh. Anyways, you guys suck. <laughs> And that brings us to Jimmy's Top 10. Jimmy's Top 10. Jimmy's Top 10. Jimmy's Top 10 Grammy Awards that were won, but you didn't see on TV. I don't know why they do that. They have all these awards that you don't see, right? Yeah, all of the technical stuff. Time constraints. The Academy Awards do the same thing. Yeah. Okay, and Jimmy's Top 10 is brought to you by Podium Raceway. PodiumRaceway.com. Give them a call, 808-682-7223. Hawaii's fastest go kart racing experience. Ooh, I like that. Ooh, I was trying to think of something to come I, up. I like how you like slowed it down for the fastest Boom. experience. It was more like that's looking meta. For, it was more like looking for words. <laughs> <laughs> shh, shh, don't pull back the curtain. Podiumraceway.com. Check them out. All right. Starting with number eight. Vroom, vroom. The Sheriff Carl Award from Walking Dead goes to. Pharrell Williams, because he was wearing Sheriff Carl's hat. That's right. With eight with zombies inside, he could have. <laughs> he had he actually he had his son inside there. What is his name? Carl. Carl is the son. Oh yeah. Okay. Rick, Rick is. Rick is the. Okay. All right. Sorry, Sheriff Rick. My bad. I messed up the award. We weren't gonna point it out. Number seven. Bang bang. But to my defense, I just started watching the show. Bang bang. Okay. Number seven, the Blistex Award for Lip Lickers goes to LL Cool J. Yeah. It almost looks offensive. Like, mm, mm, mm. Like, like, what are you doing, dude? Maybe he's thinking of like beef stew or something. <laughs> ribs. Yeah, that does it for me. He's thinking about ribs. Uh, ribs, really? Not fried chicken? <laughs> no, no. You, like, you, you've eaten ribs. You get barbecue sauce all over you. Like, mm, True, mm, that. Mm, mm. True that. True that. Mm. Want like cow and some kimchi. It's like you're licking your lips with the wrong. You, you, it emphasizes what you're saying to me. You know your body language. Mm-hmm. So it's, if you're gonna like, you know, back in Rick Rubin in his dorm. You know, he's mm-hmm. like, what? What did you do in his dorm? <laughs> that made you lick your lips. What's got you all salivating <laughs> in your mouth? You know, like you know, what I'm saying Taylor Swift. See, that makes more sense than Rick Rubin. Rick Rubin is licking Taylor Swift? No, no. Uh, imagining licking Taylor Swift over Rick Rubin. Okay. Uh, number <laughs> six. Deepest, bluest, my hat is like a shark fin. WTF Award. Katy Perry. I don't know. I, just, I didn't like it. I don't know. She looked good, though. Mm, the performance is kind of... You banging. Number five. She did look good. Just keep smiling because you didn't win this award. Goes to Taylor Swift. Okay. It was the that country girl, right? That she, uh, won. Uh, yeah, she got beat out for, uh, for uh, best country artist or best new country artist. Or and I s- country album of the year. I swear, Taylor Swift heard her name. <laughs> it was almost like uh, Zoolander. Zoolander. <laughs> yeah, like on so because it's funny. It's just, <laughs> she kind of like, huh, huh, and oh yeah, <laughs> and then she really, I'm on camera, yay. <laughs> And then she danced. And then uh, the last award what was it best album of the year or something, where uh, they gave it to uh, Daft Punk. Yeah, they gave it to Daft Punk. Like you could see her do that thing where she's like, "Oh my god, I can't believe I what I didn't." Oh fuck! <laughs> but you know, I tell you what though, we talk trash, but I thought she looked really good. I mean. That performance in the piano where yeah. she's flipping her head. I don't know what the hell that was. But she actually looked really pretty in that. Did you share the uh, attack video? Yeah, with Ryu? 
Yep. Yes. I didn't. Oh, I didn't share it. I don't know if you shared it. Not but. yet. Okay. So um, let's see. Number four. Sure you could. Thank you for performing, but we gotta end the show. Award goes to Nine Inch Nails. <laughs> I Man, mean, he was pissed. Trent Reznor, yeah, yeah, he was bashed in Twitter, yeah? Really? Yep. What did he say? Like, he, he was talking about getting disrespected by the Grammys. I thought he was going to go all Richard Sherman. Oh, yeah? No, I, I, I didn't know. L-O-B! I didn't know what happened. <laughs> N-I-N! They, they, Min! <laughs> they cut off the show uh, before he could, like, start doing more stuff because it was supposed to be, like, three songs together or something. Yeah. Because it was him, Queens of Stone Age, and then a couple of other guys. Yeah. And then they opened up with his song, and then they uh, moved into uh, Queens of the Stone Age song, and then they ended the show. Yeah, I thought it was weird. I was like, what are they, what's going on? Why are they stopping? Yeah, they, like, zoomed out, and then credits were rolling, and I'm like, wait, but the song's not over. And then yeah. they just stopped. Yeah. But they probably let him finish, huh? Oh, I'm sure they live. finished live. And that's when they got the award. Number three. Damn, that's a fine-ass booty award goes to Beyonce. I don't know about you guys, but when she was bent over like that, I was like, holy shit, I better go watch this upstairs in my room. <laughs> Beyonce looked like she lost a lot of weight. Yeah, I mean, not did. like an thin. unhealthy amount or anything, oh, no. but uh, like she looked skinnier than she was before she had the kid. Yeah. Overachiever, I guess. But you know, it was, it was runner up was Pink, and she was up in the air like that. I was like, damn, mm. she looked good. She, yeah. I'm talking yeah. about physically. Yeah, I'm not talking about her performance because I know you guys are saying that she does that all the time. But physically, she looked good. That's what I say. Number two, mm. the I thought she was on the video, but isn't in real life. Award goes to Lord. <laughs> I don't know what happened because <laughs> I remember we talked. I remember one of my friends when I tweeted about the first time I saw the um, Royals video. And I was like, "Whoa, this Lord chick, she's pretty hot." And my friends like, "You know, she's like 16 or something like that." I was like, "Oh, I didn't know, um, but I just thought she's hot." I didn't say I'm going. I want to have sex with her. I just thought she looked hot. I mentioned it on the podcast, mm-hmm. and then when they said. When they had the performance and she's singing, I'm like, who the hell is that? <laughs> Why is he singing? Trans? <laughs> it was it was really a bad makeup job. Like, uh, the dark lipstick didn't do her any favors. And I think her fingers were black too, right? Yeah. Because yeah, my daughter was saying, what's wrong with her hands? Her fingers? I think she... I was like, oh, it's a fingernail polish. I was like, no, her, whole, her fingers are black. And I was like, oh, maybe she was painting? And then she's like, oh... That's tonight. <laughs> Let's go to the Grammys. Maybe she was getting arrested and they're fingerprinting her. <laughs> oh, they were. She had to come through customs because she's yeah. a Kiwi. So yeah, not from here. Yeah. So that, anyway, America. Somebody said she was Samoan. I was like, I don't think so. <laughs> I was like, but maybe that's why she looks that way. Wow. So easily to cast her off, huh? Hey, I can do that because I am Samoan. <laughs> but you guys cannot. Number one. Because we'll never be royals. The number one Grammy Awards that were won but didn't see on TV. The I Want to See What's Up That Skirt, but I Don't Know Her Name Award goes to that country singer chick. Casey Musgraves. There you go. I don't know her name. Now we know. I will know now because I got to do some searching. And that's Jimmy's Top 10. Jimmy's Top 10. Jimmy's Top 10. Man, that was nice. I like that, Chad. I like that voice when you do that. Gets me going. Boom. Sorry, that was weird. That was weird. Okay, it's time for Wiggly News with Chad Wago. Broadcasting from the studio at Hawaiian Brian's, Chad Wago. Well, uh, I, I don't even know how to start this. I feel <laughs> like I'm supposed to be professional, but I was not prepped for professionality. Well, get used to it because we stepping up in the world here in Mars Comedy Club. Okay. Um, so they're making a smart bra. Like they've done the, uh, you know, the smart glasses. They're making the smart watches. Now they're making a smart bra where it's uh, the clasp is actually activated when your heartbeat reaches a certain pulse rate because that's when love is happening. 
So it activates and does what? Opens? Yeah. It undoes the bra. Yes. Holy cow. So if a woman could be on the Stairmaster and all of a sudden, poop, oops. <laughs> Yay! And then the guys get excited, and their heart races, and then their jock strap opens. That's uh, that is okay. Why? Okay, why? Okay, and so it obviously it's for women. However, for it can also be for trans. Yeah. Interesting. So you can get a boner, and your 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 bra pops open at the same time. <laughs> 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 I like how they I like that song there. Boy yo yo and spro yo yo yo. I was just got. Uh so there there's a there's a new game that's uh quote unquote taking the nation by storm. Is it a storm game? Uh <laughs> it's kind of stormy. Uh it's called Taser Football. <clears throat> okay. I thought we talked about that, right? Did we talk about taser football before? No, when you run around with a taser and you tase each other, like the football, or... It's, <clears> like, <throat> they call it taser football, but it's really a like little soccer, bit... Like soccer, like... Uh, it's kind of soccer, kind of like, uh, uh... I want to say it's like lacrosse without sticks. Yeah, the ball is big, right? Yeah. And then the guys... Or maybe like rugby with tasers. And the guy um, has a taser and he yep. shocks you and you got to try to get into a goal or something, yeah? Yeah, yeah. Nah, yeah, yeah. See, so it's growing. If the story comes through again, that means mm-hmm. it's growing. I remember doing it early, the early stages of GWI. GWI, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Back in the day. Hell easy. All right, uh, here's another one for you guys. Uh, if your house was on fire, what's one of the things that you would really want to save? Get my house, I would save the people. Yeah, that's a good one. I was going to say something else, but yes, the people. <laughs> the people and or uh, things that are, are like important to you, like maybe an album. Photo album, yeah. Photo album. Man in Kansas ran back into his burning house to go and get his Xbox. Yeah. yeah that sounds about right. That way, because when you're at the shelter, you, you can still play your games. $80,000 in damage, but... He still had the Xbox. Yeah, I feel like that guy should have be an honorary guy with his, guy with issues. We gotta find him and call him, he because it could have been eight hundred thousand plus two hundred dollars mm-hmm. damage, but no, he saved the Xbox. What a guy! I have a friend who's big on darts and he loves his um, uh, his cats. He has two cats, and he lives there with he lives in a house with his daughter and. He calls her his squatter, <laughs> 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 but it's the mother of his child. Mm-hmm. We call his girlfriend, but he says, no, it's a squatter. <laughs> so I thought, well, if your house is on fire, you would probably save your daughter and then just leave everything else. Go, oh, no, no. I will get my daughter, my darts, my cats. And then I would yell from outside, hey, the house is on fire. <laughs> <laughs> I like how he's going to try and save the cats. Yeah, like the cats are just going to stay there like, oh, are we supposed to go outside now? <laughs> no, the cats are going to be outside before he is. Yeah. Uh, finally, uh, my favorite story of the week. Uh, Ohio woman Sheila Renea Crabtree uh, decided. Oh, I think it's Shania. <laughs> <laughs> I think it might be Shania. Come on, dog. You know what I'm saying? No, no, no. She, she's a white girl. Oh, well, you know, they do watch MTV. Mm, that is true. Uh, she actually wants to change her name, though. She feels like the name Sheila is, is a very ugly name. And she wants to change her name to Sexy. <laughs> sexy Crabtree. <laughs> <laughs> sexy Crabtree. Um, I think some women call Michael Crabtree that already. Yeah. He's got real groupies. And some people call him mediocre. <laughs> Mediocre crab cheek. Uh, he, that's what happens when you mess with the best. No, that's what happens when you have a uh, when you L-O- go, L-O-B. When you, when you sleep with sexy and it's not that Absolutely. Good. My favorite part of the story, though, is uh, they didn't instantly approve it because it's such a weird name. She has to argue her case. She needs oh, to boy. argue her case before a Licking County judge. That <laughs> is the name of the county that she lives in. <laughs> Licking County judge 
I want to be sexy crab tree. <laughs> I want to be a licking honey <laughs> judge. <laughs> 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 and that's the news. Weekly update with Chad Walk. Okay, go ahead and play the music. Here we go. And that's the weekly news with Chad Wago. Stay classy, Honolulu. Oh, you're supposed to stay there. Oh, you, maybe you, you'll come up with something. I'll come, I'll come up with something. All right, cool. Maybe you can swear in Japanese. That's always awesome. Swearing in Japanese. Kuso. Yeah, that means shit, right? Yes. Awesome. Hey, you want to give a shout out to Rock Solid Tattoo. Rock Solid Tattoo, they still have discounts for the month of January. Uh, call them, 808-922-9000. Hey, we have a lot of guys with numbers that have 1,000 in them. Yeah. That's Rock Solid Tattoo, 808-922-9000. And our friends, our good friends at Club 939. Hawaii's premier gentleman's club. Club939.com. Check it out. They The calendar is out. Yeah, I, you guys saw, I showed you, Russell. You saw it in the car. I did. Holy cow. I think you left it on the dashboard. And we parked right in front of 25 Fitness, right by the entrance. Well, oh, that's going to give those women some motivation. Or that's going to give somebody somebody who's strong enough to break the window and get. I don't think they'll want to break the window just for the. <laughs> I just bench pressed 500 pounds. I need to see that, them girls in that calendar. Yes, the, the 939 calendar is out. So if you guys want to check it out, go. 939K Almoku Street. Yay. And then get your calendar. The ladies look good. And they have our logo in there for the month of April, which is my birthday month. Yay, yay. Go, uh, James. And it's it looks your birthday. Good. Uh, wankster. But thank you, uh, Club 939 at Club939.com. Hawaii's premier gentleman's cyber club. <laughs> <laughs> no, Hawaii's premier gentleman's website. Yeah, so go ahead, go ahead. Uh, maybe you'll see us there because shoot, me and Sarge there all the time. You never know. One day we'll bump into Chad. Chad must go, must have some secret hiding place in there. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I, I like to hide. Yeah, you do. Tanya's in there too. Is it Tanya? That's her name in the thing. No, the glasses. Oh, oh, the waitress. Yeah, she's a cute one. So we're waiting on the next party to go there. All right, it's time for Uncle Russell's useless trivia. Cause here's some trivia with Uncle Russell. He's yeah. gonna teach us lots of stuff, mm. and we just can't get enough. Yeah. Cause it is trivia. Trivia. That was the end of the song. Oh, okay. I put this trivia on your mouth, girl. Yeah, <laughs> you know that trivia means like minutia, right? That's small. Right. Oh well, I didn't say it was my penis. <laughs> I, just, I just said a trivia. It could be pubes. Minutia. Yeah. Okay. Uh, real quick one. North Korea. We'll go with North Korea. Hey, this is a good place to start. Yeah. Every five years, North Korea has an election, but the ballot only lists one candidate. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what is the what is the um the what is it for? Is it for to see who gets to wear the green visor or who, who gets gets to, to be in charge? Because <laughs> it could be a, a, a vote for something and nothing to do with who gets to be. What do you call him? Is he the chairman? But that's China, right? What, what do you call him? The president? Most people call him the dictator. Okay, but what do they call him? Uh. Just sir? Or? I, don't, I don't know because uh, his dad was glorious leader. Glorious leader? I was like, okay. I'm sure it would be the same. Glori- glori- no, no, glorious he, he had junior. a different name, I think. Let us find out. The Ultima Glorious. So they actually do. So he's like, all right, to show you guys that I'm a fair guy, we will have elections. And then they vote. So he must win by a landslide. <laughs> yeah, I'm pretty sure that the votes are mandatory, too. But how does he get? How did he get picked as the one though? You know, like, why his family is the leaders? Because he took over. Wow, he's the supreme leader of the Democratic People's Republic of Korea. Democratic. Yeah, he <laughs> yeah. said that they had elections. Yeah. <laughs> the Democratic. <laughs> wow. One more. One more, because uh, we're coming up to the Oscars in what, March? Uh, coming up. Yeah, it's coming up. And They're coming up. Yeah, I know one of the movies that's going to be more up front is uh, Wolf of Wall Street. Mm-hmm. The Wolves of Wall Street. There's um That came out, well, I would say, last year. 
Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, late November, early December, I think. Well, little did you know that in 2002, there was a movie called The Wolves of Wall Street, in which the young, good-looking brokers turned into werewolves. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Don't get it mixed up. That one might be on Netflix. <laughs> That, that sounds like an <laughs> asylum production. <laughs> <laughs> and that's that's it. And that's Uncle Russell's useless trivia. And that was trivia uh, uh. by Uncle Russell. Yeah, come on. I know we got what you seek, so listen more next week to yeah. trivia. Minutia. <laughs> <laughs> I like that he rhymed. At yeah. least he tried. It's not like he was working on it on the Manisha. way over. No, no. We we're just talking about Lord so much, or Lord, that I was just like, oh, I have a tune in my head. I can figure this rhyming shit out. <laughs> All right. Thank you guys, ladies, for li- ladies and gentlemen, for listening. Don't forget, every Wednesday night, we will be performing live at the Mars Comedy Club in Hawaiian Bryan's. Uh, yeah, I was like, what is that noise? <laughs> I forgot. There was this. Hundreds of people listening and watching our show right now, clapping. Um, we have a, a comedy featured show followed by an open mic. And we are looking for the next funniest person in Hawaii. Yes, we are. So if you have a friend or you want to give it a try, please come on down. Come and meet um, meet myself, meet Russell, meet Chad. Get to know us, and we can help you, you know, get on stage. We can help you with your, your, your set, get you started. Who knows? Maybe you could be the next big star of Hawaii's underground comic scene. Yeah, and then all of a sudden, everybody wants to be you. Then you get the same kind of groupies we get. None. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not talking about the church nuns. Yeah. <laughs> Absolute zero. We're talking about uh, one-eyed bearded ladies. Yes. Yes, because they got the nice limp. Um, yeah, but seriously, though, you come down, we help you out. We love to uh, work with new people. Um, spread the word. Mars Comedy Club at Hawaiian Brian's every Wednesday night. Uh, follow us on Facebook, facebook.com slash guys with issues. Uh, check out our website, marscomedy.com for more information. And we love all of you. Yes, we do. Please tell one friend about this podcast, about the show. Please share it. Tell them to share it. Let's have it all over. Let's infect everybody minutially. No? Yes. All right. That's just weird. Thank you guys for listening to episode number 73. My name is James Mane. As always, I'm with Russell Kealoha. Konnichiwa, snitches. Yeah, I like that. And the supposed comedian, Chad Wago. Thanks for listening to the podcast. God bless you and good night. <laughs>